this community conversation, we're joined by Nick Collegian, senior victim advocacy attorney over at Central Virginia Legal Aid Society. He's sitting down with Casey. All right, thank you so much, Steve. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Oh, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, we are happy to have you. And some people I think might not know exactly what a victim advocacy attorney does. Can you explain that to us? Sure. So what I do is I represent uh, domestic violence victims and help them obtain protective orders and also represent them in any type of family law issues that they have, custody visitation, things like that. Yeah, and this is a big month for, um, it's Child Abuse Awareness Month, also Sexual Assault Awareness Month. Can you talk about how important it is to be able to help and represent people like this? It's so great and it's such an important work. I've been doing it for about a year and a half now and it's just something that I absolutely love. Um, we actually work with UVA quite a bit to handle their Title IX cases as well. So anytime there's a Title IX issue, they refer them out to our office and we try to provide representation or advice to sexual assault survivors who have gone through that. Yeah, yeah, so so many different people you're helping. Uh, what are some of the other uh, other areas of law that you all practice? So we practice uh, housing law, consumer law, employment law, bankruptcy, just a whole type of different civil law um, that most people who are low income can't afford an attorney for. Right, right. Can you tell us a little bit about an event that is coming up? Sure, so on Sunday at 8 p.m. at Old Cabell Hall will be our fourth annual Jazz for Justice event. Um, it benefits both the UVA Music Department as well as Central Virginia Legal Aid. Um, I went last year, it's a great event, and if people have time, they should come out on Sunday. That is awesome, it should be a wonderful day for it too. Anything else you wanna add about just how important this work is and maybe how people can help victims here in our community? Sure, so we're always looking for volunteers. We're always looking for people to come volunteer and you know sit at the office and do intakes, or you know we're always asking for donations because we are grant funded um, and federally funded, so we're always looking for for assistance like that. That's wonderful. How can someone reach you if they're interested? Sure, they can go to our website, cvlas.org. Okay, perfect. Anything else you wanna add before we go? No, that's it. Thank All you right. so much for having me. Thank you so much for being here. We'll have you back soon. All right. <laughs> back to you, Steve.